What is up, Aquariuses? How are you doing? This is going to be your mid-monthly October general reading. Uh, I hope it's a fabulous reading. In my pre-shuffle for you guys, I kind of was getting a little bit of a good vibe, but we'll see what the cards have to say. Thank you for watching a Stella K video, by the way. I am a newbie on YouTube. I haven't been here so long, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and also I give out free um, uh, readings, uh, 30 minute readings every Friday. So if you just subscribe and just comment below, you can just put a little emoji by your name and uh, I give you a three, uh, 30 minute reading. So uh, please just, I hope you enjoy this. And like I said, I'm a newbie on here, so I'd love you to subscribe and let's just have fun this is for any aquarius sun moon rising venus and north node also just remember time is fluid so even if you see this a little bit past october or past the mid month universe always brings you what you need when you need it like universe does not make mistakes life doesn't make mistakes everything we do is for a reason okay it's comes to us when we need to hear it we see things when we need to see them we hear things when we need to hear them there are no mistakes in life you know it's just all about the growth of the soul you know i do try to concentrate on love but i won't lie sometimes these readings do go towards family friends or business so i'll let you know also when i say he she king queen knight I don't mean a male or a female, I mean energy and feminine and masculine energy. And we have all of that inside all of us, whether we be male or female, some of us are more dominant than others. But just remember, you know, it's at energies that I pick up on and not specific genders. If I know it's a gender, I will absolutely tell you. All right, let's get starting on your mid-October reading and see what's going on with you Aquariuses. Okay, overall energy is the Tower, Major Arcana. What's going on, guys? We definitely are having some stuff going on this month. And remember, the Tower doesn't always need to be a bad thing in this deck. It can be a good Tower or a bad Tower. It just means a huge moment in your life and something that is teaching you a lesson or something that is life-changing okay your recent past energy number arcana number major arcana number two death okay so in the past you either had a breakup or a major transformation within yourself you were definitely i i feel like um even if it was a breakup it was a huge transformation and you were feeling um how do i want to put this spirit give me the words you were definitely feeling like so much um, sadness towards it. But the sun is going to come. I won't be surprised if the sun will come out in this reading because you guys have a lot of positive energy within you. And Aquariuses are one of the signs that definitely get through hard times so much easier than other people because you see the reasons why things happen and why you know why they happen and you learn your lessons very quickly all right your current energy is the ace of pentacles so definitely you are feeling stable in your feelings you are feeling confident your money's good um you know a stable offer is coming towards you that's capricorn taurus virgo energy all right um other people's effects on you seven of wands Okay, when I pull the Seven of Wands, this is kind of like my shady guy character. You feel like people may be being a little shady around you. That may be why you're watching this video. They're feeling a little, a little shady. All right, Major Arcana number three, Wheel of Fortune and your blockages. You're feeling like things aren't exactly going your way, even though Universe is leading you in the right way because this is in the upright. Even though it might not feel good right now, you know that you universe is definitely taking you in the right way like you we're going to clarify these but i feel like i'm sorry i gotta cross my legs don't mind my pajama pants this chair is really uncomfortable i'm sorry to interrupt your reading um this is actually like a life-changing month for you it's 
even though it's in your blockages category, it's because you feel like it's a blockage, but I, I feel like it's almost leading you into this amazing place that you need to be at. All right, solutions. Ace of Wands, okay, this is passion. This is, you know, inspiration. And sometimes a little bit of really good sexy time. This can be an Aries Sagittarius Leo sometimes. Sometimes we just need a little bit of sexy time to heal the wounds. Okay, outcome, King of Cups. This is my King of Love. This is a king that wears his heart on his sleeve. He's gentle, he brings emotions. He is outward spoken with the way he feels and the way he sees things in the world and you don't need to worry about any type of deception. And that's your outcome, holy moly. I wish my reading came out like that. That was good stuff right there, guys. All right, let's do some clarification. So far what I'm seeing is a transformation, maybe getting rid of a few bad people in your life and maybe a little bit of good sexy time to kind of heal what you're going through. Because I feel like you are going through a lot because you have a lot of major arcana here and your overall energy is the tower. So I'm not going to lie, this might be a little bit of a hard month, but I feel like it's going to lead to a beautiful place because your outcome is the king of cups and that's like the king of love, you know. He's gentle, he's kind, he's merciful, he listens, he understands. Like, that's the kind of king everyone wants. And remember, feminine masculine energy doesn't matter. The king can be a man or a woman. All right, let's slice these and dice these and get it going. And I'm actually doing these, I'm laying them down three at a time. I know you guys like it when I explain every card but it takes so much time and I know, you know, you guys don't have that much time like for me to give you a 45 minute reading. So I'm going to lay them down three at a time for you guys. All right, we have the Magician, Libra, Gemini energy, Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, um, Knight of Wands right there, Aries, Sagittarius energy, and that's on top of the tower. That's your overall energy. So right now what the universe is telling us and you is that you have the universe is going to give you every tool you need this month this is your overall energy for the entire mid month okay to overcome this ten of swords like you feel like you have swords in your back you're feeling a little bit hurt right now you're not really sure about what people think about you i'm feeling like and with this knight of wands you're not sure if you're being used or if you're being adored you're, you're not sure how this person feels about you because they're very impulsive. Like I'm feeling like this person may not talk to you all day and then all of a sudden call you at like between like 10 and 1 a.m. in the morning and it really bothers you. But this month, the universe is going to give you everything you need to kind of see why this person does what they do, if this is the person you want to be with, or it's going to kind of transform you into a person that you know can see past it and get past it and put people past you and not let people in so easily you're an aquarius you are a very um reasonable sign so sometimes emotions can be hard for you and you kind of block them off but i feel like this month you're going to put your emotion into your reason and you're not going to block things off in the way that you have in the past. You're going to handle it in a completely different way that's extremely healthy for you. That's what I'm feeling. Your recent uh, past is death. I feel like you did have a breakup. Um, it could just be a transformation. I usually, at Stella K, we usually say F the past, but I'm going to actually clarify this for you. All right, Six of Swords in reverse. That's normally your ship's coming in. The Moon in reverse, your subconscious. And then justice, that's two major arcana on top of death. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that you weren't seeing your ships coming in in the recent past because you weren't looking into your subconscious because you wanted that justice. You wanted it to be like everything to be fair. And when it comes to relationships, life isn't always fair. We can't always be fair with everything. But I feel like you really wanted it to be that way. And it also... Um, 
It kind of transformed you though. And whether you see it right now or not, I feel like the end of the month or like mid-November almost, you're going to see how much this situation is going to transform you. And I'm, I don't know if you're together or not with this person that has done this to you, but it is going to transform you in the most immaculate, amazing way where you're astounded by yourself and smiling all the time because you're so, you know, your outcome is the King of Cups. All right, so your present energy right now is the Ace of Pentacles. Money's good. You are feeling stable. You're not sure if this person is stable, though, okay? That's the problem. You're like, is are, are, is this person I'm here to watch this video for stable? What I, I really need you to concentrate on the person you're thinking about when you're watching this video, too. If you're single, then think about the next person that's coming into your life, and this will be advice on what you want to do, just so you know. All right, let's see what's going on there. Death number two. Definitely transformations need to happen within yourself. And if it's with a significant other, both of you, because there's two. And whenever I say two of something, it, when it comes to death, I, I feel like two people need to transform. I don't feel like it's just another um, time for you to transform or another person. I feel like you both need to transform if you are in fact in a relationship right now with this Ace of Pentacles, which is stability. King of Wands, um, that's my sexy time, King. Vibrant, fun. When you guys are together, you guys definitely have a lot of fun. Then we have the judgment and the reverse, which means you have not made a judgment call on this yet. You have not figured it out yet. You are still trying to figure this out. You are still trying to figure out what exactly you want to do with this relationship. All right, people, other people that are affecting this relationship or your life right now is a Seven of Wands. This is my shady guy character. You feel like people are being shady. Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Okay, so this is keeping you up at night, and it's giving you a bit of anxiety. Five of Cups. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. A little bit of regret. Not feeling too good about this situation and the other people. King of Swords. Maybe uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be feeling like people are a little bit too harsh on you right now. And not really giving you, um, they can be a little bit, the king of swords, while he can be trustworthy, stable, business owner, he can also be abrasive, but I'm feeling the abrasiveness in this king of swords right now. Like I'm feeling like people are being a little bit too abrasive towards you, even though you are one of the most reliable, reasonable signs in the zodiac, it, you're feeling like, why are people coming down on me? Or just what it can even just be one person or it can be yourself doing it to you but you're definitely being hard on yourself or people are being hard on you and with all these other the other two cards combined with that shady character you're wondering like is it me doing something wrong or is it them but I really feel like it's them I feel like you really have your ducks in a row right now and people are not treating you appropriately because I feel like you are giving out so much kindness. These people are not appreciating who you are and this person isn't appreciating who you are. They're, but you also have to remember to let them see you. That's what Spirit just said. Let them see the whole you. Like really put it out there. Don't just be about reason, but let them see your emotions and your feelings. Like definitely be vulnerable vulnerability is going to be really important for you to move forward in a love relationship or a very close friendship. All right. So what do we have here? Blockages. All right. Wheel of Fortune. Or sorry. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Like your blockage is that you're not moving forward right now. Like you're kind of stuck in the same place with the same people. It's time to kind of move on. All right. Let's see what we have. We have the Hangman in reverse. We have the Knight of Swords and strength that's two more major arcana now i see why the tower is your overall energy because you have a ton of major arcana all over the place what i'm seeing here with the knight of swords hang me on in reverse and then strength is that you need to be strong through the rest of this month okay and with the knight of swords this can kind of be my impulsive player energy but i feel like you almost need to go into that energy which is an energy you're not used to going into because you're a very reasonable sign and I feel like right now, like you need to keep your options open and really show people like 
I, I'm not just, you know, career oriented or composed all the time. I can have fun. I can be impulsive. I can give the middle finger. I can do those things. And like, seriously do it. Like, I want you to let loose this month because that's actually going to attract your partner in. And I don't want you to call your partner a whole lot. I don't want you to communicate with them a whole lot or anyone you're having issues with. I want you to actually go and have fun with the friends that you really enjoy, with the people that you really enjoy in your life. Go and have fun. And these the shady character figure or figures, I want you to kind of put out of your mind and they will come back to you. Trust me, they will come back to you. All right, solution, Ace of Wands. Because you know what? They want that sexy time. They want that sexy time. I mean, you do too right now, but don't do it. Like, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Go have some fun with your friends. And the solution is being passionate, being open, being inspiring. Like, really open yourself up for the next half of this month. And I want to say even into November and the beginning of December, Spirit saying, I want you to really open yourself up and really feel life. Like, don't be so reasonable all the time. Like, feel life. Like, really let it burn within you. If you see a beautiful man or a beautiful woman, whatever you're attracted to, like, I want you to, you know, walk right up to them and say, what is up, hottie? You know, feel life like really really live and I know it's hard because we got to stay six feet away from each other for social distancing but it is just like really feel life like try to have as much fun as you can because I feel like it's bringing like with the two deaths this is what's going to bring your transformation is this fun and people are going to see that in you and then all of a sudden all these old wounds are going to heal and you're going to to be this magnet and people are going to be magnetized to you, you know? All right, let's clarify. Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Five of Pentacles, and Five of Wands. Okay, this means, all right, right in the middle here, we have the Five of Pentacles. That's silence. This is your solution, is not hanging out with the people that have treated you badly and not communicating with them taking a break from them with the four of swords which means taking a break and you don't necessarily have to have conflict it may cause a little conflict in them internally and in you internally but it's going to be your solution because this is in your solutions category you need to put them out and just concentrate on yourself and have fun post all the pictures you can on facebook whatever platform you're on have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Because then your outcome is the King of Cups. And then we have the star, Major Arcana. Hope and inspiration coming in right on top of that King of Cups. All right. The High Priestess. Using your intuition. Another Major Arcana. Okay. This is bringing inspiration into your life. It's making people tell you secrets and not keeping any. Just being 100% authentic. Like you are authentically yourself. And then the Ace of Cups, right there, baby. That is like ultimate love and emotion. That is, it, that is, it, this is emotional fulfillment. Right on top of the King of Cups, which is the best next thing you can get to the Ace of Cups. You are going to have this ultimate fulfillment, but you have to put yourself first. Stop being so reasonable. Put the people that you think are shady aside. Don't talk to them for a while. Go have fun with the, the friends you can trust, with the people you can trust, with family members you can trust. Then all of this beautiful yumminess right here will come to you. That's an amazing effing reading, guys. That's amazing. That's, that's good stuff right there. All right. I'm Stella K. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm a newbie trying to make it here on YouTube. I love you guys. I'm also going to do some bonus videos because I had some health issues and I was out for two weeks, but now I'm back. So don't forget to subscribe so you can and push the notification button and like. And also, you know, don't forget to put just a little emoji down in the comment section and then you're in for my free Friday readings. I don't have a lot of followers because I just started this, so I'm hoping to get more. I pray for it. 
So thank you so much and have a happy Halloween and I love you guys. Have a good day.